everyone, I'm SparkleCat16. That's the name for my YouTube channel. Let me ask you a question. Do you like to draw? Do you want to draw on your own computer and show it online? Then you're in luck because today I'm going to show you how to use the program Microsoft Paint. I bet most of you have Microsoft Paint at home, right? And you draw with it, so... But did you know you can submit your art online? I go to a site called deviantart.com. It's right here. It's where you can submit your art from anywhere, even Microsoft Paint. This tutorial will help you create something that would amaze people and submit it to get popularity. In order to have Microsoft Paint, you have to have a Windows computer in which a lot of you have in your home. If you do, then they include the program Microsoft Paint for you. So here is a quick overview. You will start with a simple kind of art, base art. You can use different kinds of tools like the paintbrush, paint bucket, and the curve tool to really give the base the works. And once it's complete, you'll, you'll upload it on DeviantArt. Pretty simple, huh? Well, it is. Base art is a kind of art where you use a base template and you can customize it any way you like. So let's do a My Little Pony base. Those are popular, right? So here we go. Now I've started with a Pegasus base for one of my OCs called Chocolate Dove. So let's work a little bit on her. So here are the steps of making the OC. Step one, pick the appropriate base you want. For a My Little Pony base, Earth, Pegasi, Unicorn, and Alicorn bases are what you need to search up most of the time. Searching them on DeviantArt will give you excellent base choices. Step 2. You need to download the base in DeviantArt by clicking the download button and copying it to paste it into Microsoft Paint. Now that you have your base, let's customize it, shall we? Step 3. Pick a color. You can use the colors on the color bar, or you can click on edit colors and make the colors you want instantly. Use colors for the main, skin, and eyes. I prefer that you choose the main color for your eye, for your main skin and eyes, then making different shades of the color to blend it in. Now it's also a good thing you have a paint bu bucket to fill the spots in. So let's say I want to choose this color. So I use a paint bucket to, to put the colors in. Same goes with the eyes and the mane. Okay, step four is to draw the mane. You can use the paint brush or you can use the curve tool, which is right here, to make unique mane styles. For a straight or spiky look, um, you can use the straight line tool, but for a weighty and curly mane, it's always a good time for a paintbrush or, or a curve tool. So let's use the curve tool on our Little Miss Chocolate Dove here. This may take some time, but it's worth it. Same goes for the tail. If you want to make the tail spiky or wavy, then, then follow step four. Looking good, looking real good. Just an FYI, you can use the eraser and you can color it and you can do this. You could like make mistakes and you could like color the mistake out. Or you can use it to color in the main, whichever one's your choice. So now that you've drawn in the main and the tail, now on to step five. Feel three feel free to draw. Step five, feel free to add details. You can use the shapes and designs to, to make a perfect cutie mark. Draw in some accessories with other tools in the Microsoft Paint program, like a bow or a necklace. Here's some quick advice. If you, if you want to make um, a bow uh, like this, then all you have to do is color in some of the mane that you did earlier then color in the bow section and then you can use a triangle or something or whatever you have and you can make the bow like that. 
and you can change the color of the background any color you want. Just use the, the paint to do it. The paint bucket, I mean. And use the text button to type in your OC name. So I'm going to type in chocolate dove. And if it's a bit too big or too small, you can always change the font. So I like this here. Let's zoom out. And there we go. Your OC is complete. Now save your artwork to go to the sixth and final step. If you have a DeviantArt account, you can make one easily. Well, if you already do, then click on the Submit button and put in the artwork from one of your files. So, here we go. And you do the rest online. You can, uh, you can do the description and all that. And ta-da! There you go! All done! Now that wasn't so hard, was it? So what I show you today is that you can use the power of Microsoft Paint to draw the hair or maid style, fill in the colors, and draw in accessories on your chosen base. And who knows, once you get good at it, lots of people will appreciate your, your hard work thanks to me. Questions? Make sure to put questions down in the comments below. And in my DeviantArt and YouTube, well, my DeviantArt will, be po will also be posted in the description below. And that's how to use Microsoft Paint. See you all next time. Bye!